hopefully I don't get any barrier on the way and it's just 10 kilometers hey oh, it's beautiful <laughs> 10 kilometers straight in this beautiful landscape and then we arrive very close to Trestica all the way up is going uh, at the limit of the park we get out and we do a camp I think I can hear water here which is good news so anywhere in the area would be quite good actually so I just need to get out of the of the park but re really close to the south limit of it so oh yeah, it's funny yeah, here is water. I think you can hear it. And just need to get out now. And do the camp. First night. Uh, first night would be solo. And I'm uh, already enjoying a lot. Okay. It's just beautiful. So, a nature. Bit of wood here. Do a little fire, do some cooking, it's snowing. It's, uh, it's just silent here, the wind. And I don't even hear, uh, of course, animals. So it's just the wind and the snow, it's... It's, uh, it's, it's magical. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fantastic, I love it. And here it's just like... Huge park starting just uh, 50 meters from here when the wood is uh, dense again. Oh, it's just uh, wonderful. Swamp. Yeah, so it's all white and so then it's like such beyond uh, that's why the trees are so small. But uh, it's been a long time actually since I was so relaxed. It's uh, amazing, I feel like uh, I'm back in childhood, you know, like exploring some new new parts in the woods and here is uh, we're not even in the park here, but the park itself is all surrounded with this kind of area. It's just beautiful. It's uh, fantastic. Yeah, solo is uh, solo is definitely uh, very close to a spiritual experience. I think it's uh, really uh, your own rhythm and. Uh, own noise. Oops. Here's. A, I forget. I'm in a swamp. It's nice and wet. Ah, it's just beautiful. Love it. Look at that. 
area. So I'm going to get a bit, uh, a bit later now. Otherwise, uh, it's nice when the snow is that even late in the evening, it's always very clear. It's uh, beautiful. Look at that snowstorm. Yeah. I'm uh, having this one in a, like a real uh, vivo condition. It's just perfect for snow. Yeah, really well protected. It's breathable. You don't sweat in it. And with the, all the the warm layer you put under the snow, I don't know if you see much, but the snow is not melting. Uh, even though it's a uh, canva, it's a fantastic product. Really like it. Is here for resolution, and uh, we have a, little, uh, a very thin mat, uh, sleeping mat that is fitting inside the backpack. So I didn't bring anything fancy as a sleeping sleeping mat. I was a little bit cold, so I had to put uh, all warm layers uh, as a sleeping mat to help. But then it went good. Maybe get a little bit little bit easy too easy actually uh, when I arrived I just uh, I did some uh, yeah beginner mistakes I felt so sure I was okay I didn't care so much about the basic stuff like putting up the camp starting the the fire and then uh, I went for a walk and exploration and it was really nice uh, I knew I had really nice uh, winter clothes so I, I didn't really need the, the fire but now I need fire to cook and uh, boil the water so I will take uh, breakfast and then I will go just get some nice wood and cook some water and cook some nice food as well so this is today is uh, day two and there should be a uh, some friends uh, coming uh, this afternoon. Hope they can. Uh, it's been snowing. Uh, I don't know, five, seven centimeters yesterday, and uh, I hope they managed because the road was already here. You probably can see no way over there. We are really close to the to the border. I would say uh, maybe. Five kilometers max. So I went up on this uh, on this hill. The camp is uh, just uh, downstairs here. And you can see here, and we are on a plateau, and then it goes down. And um, I come here because the guys still didn't come. And this is the only place when I have some uh, can send SMS. And thanks to Norway because my uh, company in Sweden is not I don't have any signal at all so I have the the telecom from uh, Norway actually that I could send the SMS from so thanks to Norway on this and I'm gonna call my friends now
is it? Uh, what is quite wet, but going slowly with a nice uh, Bjork uh, bar. Managed to start, so I'm gonna gonna boil it. Gonna boil some water here that I just took from the swamp to so disinfect it. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if. Uh, if the water is good to drink like this because the the stream is just going in the park so I guess it's no pollution here One minute. Uh, so here's the situation. I call uh, my friends. They are. Uh, they couldn't get in the. Not even in the park, but the area around the park is completely sealed off because apparently there's going to be a big ant, uh, elk ant this weekend, uh, starting tomorrow. So basically, I'm locked in in a huge area, which I think is quite funny. Uh, it makes it even more uh, special. I'm probably the only one in the whole uh, national park and uh, around the area. So uh, this is very special. But my friends are still out, and uh, they've trained three different rows. Even one the coming from Norway that was locked as well so now the plan is that they're gonna go to the south parts and there's only one barrier and then I will drive there and pick them up but uh, it's gonna be an hour oh fantastic So here we are, here are the guys, they managed to come, jump the barrier <laughs> and uh, we're all here for this very exclusive uh, bivouac since the whole area is, uh, is uh, sealed off for, for uh, elk and uh, tomorrow. And so now we're going to the, to the camp following the trail. And uh, yeah, so welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's a nice place. The shoes are, <laughs> are as ice, so it's good to leave them wide open before you go to bed, so you can put your feet in the day uh, after. Everything that is uh, um, uh, works with battery, uh, telephone, and uh, change battery. I have three battery, one in the camera, to change here. It's permanently on me. Uh, day and night close to the body so it stays warm and uh, it's still working. So I didn't even see what it looks like. 
Huh? So what is it you have here? This is uh, croissants. Oh, you, you. Huh? With chocolate. Oh, oh, that's gonna we be... put some chocolate in. Oh, look at that. Oh, yo, yo. So here we are getting lazy. So, so you're gonna have some too. Cooking a bit of water. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, it's not burning much here. Yo, that's it. Now we the... So and warm coffee. How did you sleep, Robin? I slept all right. It was a bit cold, so I had yeah. to fix a bit with the jacket and so on, but it's, I'm, I'm good. I slept a lot, and that's, um, well, that's the reason I go out in the bush, to experience nature and to have a good long night's sleep. That's for you, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's It starts to come out some chocolate. So? Not a bad. Okay, making a frying pan handle, a stick, for the M40, super good Swedish mess kit. Uh, no, it's not the French guy who did that. <laughs> That's the Swedish guys here. Yeah, Look at chef. that crazy <coughs> croissant. It's a crazy Freshly Swedish baked chef. croissant. Yeah. In the how is it called? An oven? Fire yeah. oven or a reflector oven. Reflector oven. Made out of from a guy named Svante. Yeah. And a guy named Svante that makes stuff. Like you. Oh, it yo, can't yo. be bad. That's really one of the craziest things I've seen this winter. Fresh croissant in the middle of this. It's a nice thing, we make bake-off bread in it, we make pizza, it's yeah. it's a beautiful thing. Um, so uh, what you, mushroom is it? This is Fnusktikja, which is uh, tinder fungus, Swedish oh. tinder fungus. Well, it's all over So the, uh, this one is uh, freshly picked up yesterday, yeah. it's still wet. Yeah, and I put it in the fire and it's glowing. And if the fires die down, you make it, you put it aglow. Put it in the uh, ashes and cover it lightly with fluffy ashes, and it will smolder for ah, the day. And ah. then you have a nice glow to yeah. restart your well, fire. This one is still wet. It's glowing. It's not gonna. It's, no. it's just gonna burn, 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 yeah, burn, burn, burn forever. Okay. And if you have a big one like the one we have there, <laughs> that's the big one. <laughs> and it burns, burns, burns. See the big one there? That's the big one. The it's a big one. Yeah. It, this is like four hours. This is maybe two hours, I think. Okay. This is four hours at least. Just closing, closing. How much did it cost? Well, this if I if I to sell this it's to like you, a good <laughs> as, a, as, as a friend's price, I'd take no. like I don't he, know. He, uh, in this in that your company, you know, they're selling oh, uh, fira cotar for <laughs> niti krona. Yeah. Yeah, I know. This is one this thousand is like krona. A thousand crowns. You know? Cheeky so, bastards, oh, you know, they're really, really they gonna expensive. sell us some wood, you know, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah. yeah, but they do. They do. <laughs> the, and people buy it. The, no. so I'm leaving it talking about croissant and mushrooms <laughs> and yeah. Martin from Norway is here and joining. Well done, Martin. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Oi, excellent. So now... <laughs> so we have some uh, fire for the dinner tonight. Yeah, that's gonna be for the day. Yeah. <laughs> what are you all here? This so, uh, gas, so it's quite light. Uh, so. What 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 is it, uh, Martin? Is that is is your sleeping bag or is something no, to cover uh, your? It's a fairly duke. It's yeah. uh, you can use it for a lot of different things. Yeah. I'm trying to show you. I like to get shot by the hunters. Um, you see this? Not to get shot by the hunters. Yeah, yeah that's the collar. Uh, like it. Uh, you got arm, arms on it, so you can use yeah. it as a poncho, uh -huh. as a wind sack on uh -huh. the mountains. 
You can use it as a sleeping bag. You can even use it as a, as a hammock. I yeah. think some people do okay. that. Mm. But how, how do you use this? Is more like a multi-use uh, cover? Or? Yeah, for, for this setup or I you use it, it for the underquilt. For underquilt, for the, okay. Understand. For the hammock. Yeah, it is. it's a very nice uh, material actually. It's yeah. uh, really, uh, really sturdy. You know. So Martin's gonna ha sleep in a hammock. And here we got the sun. Mm. That's the sunniest uh, part of the three days so far. Never had so much sun. Never had so much <laughs> Five sun. minutes. <laughs> sleeping the closest to the Tristigland National Park. It's just uh, you're the one sleeping the closest to the park. You are 15 meters from the park. You see the on the top of the of the rock is the beginning of the park. Yeah, so you're officially the Nice and comfy. And now we are getting ready for a little uh, tour in the first thing park. It's a wool uh, pants you have uh, there, Martin. Yes, it yeah. is. Really good in the middle. Yeah, it looks, it looks nice because you don't sweat in it. Yeah, and there's the nice and warm it. Right. Yeah. Non plastic. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So oh, now here we go. I'm getting a little bit in the in the park with the daylight this time. I think I did some shooting uh, last night. I'm not sure we could uh, see much. But, uh, I'm gonna try to take some uh, pictures again. And we are today with Martin, uh, joining from uh, Norway. And uh, Robin and uh, Sante are staying to the, the camp today because uh, Sante is having a problem with the knee. Uh, climbing a little bit uh, this mountain yesterday. He hurt his knee a little bit, so they're gonna take it easy a bit today and uh, go for a small tour today. See where we go with Martin. Yeah. 
we are lost. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, this. and talking about the uh, wolf uh, with Martin and uh, says that uh, there has been a couple of wolves in this area yeah. uh, a, few years ago. a few years ago so it's very possible and uh, we come in this uh, clearing it's lots of light suddenly it's a very nice area can feel the the rocks under the under the forest very close. We have the worst from the ice age. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. For sure. It's like it was not long ago actually. No. It's like eleven thousand, ten thousand yeah, years like ago. That. Yeah. No, I it was all, all the tra tra trails in the, yeah. in the landscape goes the same direction. Yeah. It's like, so here goes the ice. Again, here so a little. Uh, uh, what is it, Martin? Is it the again? The trucks? And the... Uh, what do you think? This one? Oh. Yeah, like so once again, it's uh, following the... When I'm searching for the, the trail, I just follow the trucks and it's... This is the trail. Like, uh, we're joking with uh, Martin a little bit uh, earlier that you just follow the rabbits, like in uh, Alice in uh, Wonderland. Because I have a lot more <coughs> control. It's reaching that, that little lake here and the corner. Small, small, small lake here. That's the small lake here. Do you see the shape of it here? Maybe. Um, now it's starting to be pretty late as well, and uh, might be time to come back to the camp. Uh, those legs will be for our next next trip. Beautiful now with the sun. Right. So now here we go. Good. Good. A bit of whiskey. Just a good drop. <laughs> oh, looks good. And then uh, bon appetit. So I like it uh, red inside, but here you have the apoint. Uh, well done. Coming soon. <laughs> Thank you. So, ah. nice whiskey duck in the, sorry for your eyes, but I'm gonna put some light in your faces. So, Mr. Robin, <laughs> Martin is having a wood plate as well. Oh, yeah, very nice knife. Wow. Yes, uh, hell, hell a knife. Wow, hell, beautiful. Uh, yeah. Oi, oi, oi. That's no no that the duck is cut with such a nice knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Svante, you like it too? Really good. Yeah. 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 And then uh, just before serving, yeah, I think so. Everyone is uh, okay. Yeah. So then you don't put in the fire anymore. You might start to burn with the oil. Yeah. I get it on because it can. The dress is about filmed. Do you have filmed? Oh, yo, yo. And do you have uh, is something to drink in? Oh. And, and the it's the lamination is something that the experts in in in, uh, in uh, 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 Japan. Yeah. The first yeah. F ones was one. Yeah, and that's one, the, that's, one. The, that's the German steel, isn't it? Uh, don't they know? Well, they they did a lot of different ones, but they yeah. made one with Swedish steel, the yeah. whole thing. 
and they realize that they need the flexibility yeah. So they put the laminated, that's a lam, lam VGT, it's a VGT, yes. but it's laminated. Yeah. So you have one steel and then lam, that, and the lamination, the Japanese I don't see you anymore, I could <laughs> see you uh, well with the light. No, I I can can uh, uh, if, you, if you put on mine, if I put on mine, it's mine, showing yeah. his, uh, a nice knife. Svante, you have to take it off, because it comes in the rigging there. There you go. Oh, it's a beautiful knife let me, here. Let me try this as well. it out and you don't get your beard inside the, the flame and just blow into the big big one wow Ooh, effective Ooh. yeah Technique. We are actually on the border between Sweden and Norway. And in this area, that's the way we split wood. Ah, you more. got it? One more. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, second trial. Start at the and same time. Blade. <laughs> it's called the two men splitting techniques. You need a whole tree <laughs> and a small knife. Only well, we get some nice wood. Okay, let's try the fist cars. Yeah! Uh, good morning. It's day four, and uh, this is the morning. Just a tiny scamp. The guys are already awake. They start the fire. I have uh, no idea how cold it is today. It seems a bit colder than uh, the previous days. Uh, how cold do you think it is today? Five. How cold do you think it is? Five. Five, yeah? Okay. Somewhere around five. Not that cold. And uh, Martin is uh, sleeping, I think. He's there. And uh, gonna have a little breakfast now. This is my crib. Let me present you my crib. This is where the magic happened. Uh, as you can see, I have all the comfort here. A nice uh, pine wood floor with uh, warm equipment. You have here uh, wool socks that are probably hard luck stones. Oh, just, uh, they are frozen. And a little plastic DV bag. Extra thin. Mattress, not to be too warm at night, and uh, yeah, the rest of this the is. Uh, I didn't have the time to do any breakfasts. I'm uh, this guy here, he's been cooking some pork nights. Wait today, fatiga ridare, fatiga ridare, poor man, they're night. not wealthy, poor, they're poor night. He looks, uh, he looks great actually. Wow, good. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> There's carrot in it. There's a carrot mm. bread. It's so bread. good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ah. This is Martin's home here. <laughs> the last this night. We can get the water. We're going on water <laughs> expedition. Yeah. Yeah. That should be enough for today.
Oh, you don't want to wake up close to this man, right? Yeah, <laughs> With the beard, his excellency, so that he gets out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. <laughs> the beard outside, very good for hands. Need to find it better. Yeah, it's the same one. Yeah, it's not going to be better. 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 Yeah, we got it. It's a real food fest. It's a party. Still breakfast. What to say? It's a uh, paradise here. Yeah. It's uh, day four, and it's been so far a uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic camp. First day solo, no fire, uh, snowstorm. Ah, not snowstorm, but uh, snowing. And uh, day two, Robin and Sante coming, joining for two days. And then yesterday, Martin coming from Norway, joining in this little uh, trek yesterday with Martin. And the whole park here. Uh, we did eight kilometers actually. It was a nice little tour. Uh, we went out with just you know, just water and a few things to eat. And uh, today it's the last day, day four, and we are having a long breakfast, long talk. And uh, we're gonna hit the road again, get out of this uh, wonderful area. And it's sunny, first day with sun, it's uh, suddenly everything takes uh, another dimension. It's been a uh, fantastic uh, four days actually. Uh, You go this direction, it's maybe five or six kilometers. You go south, it's seven kilometers. Wild nature, you go east and snowy lakes.
är det där 30 klan. Final walk back now. Back to the car. Yeah, drive home. Bye bye, parking. And uh, 